My name is Amanda Zepka, and I'm going to be reading The Best Birthday Party Ever. It's written by Jennifer LaRoe Huget and Lee Yuan Pham. My birthday is five months, three weeks, two days, and eight hours away. Today, I started to plan my party. It's going to be the best birthday party ever. I will make the invitations myself. They will have a picture of me dressed like a princess on the front. My mother will help me color them. We'll put gold glitter in the envelope so when people open them up, they'll get showered with fairy dust. I'm inviting all my friends, 57 of them, counting some kids I just met at the grocery store, plus my grandmas, and the lady at the bank who gives me lollipops. My birthday will be here in four months, two weeks, five days, and seven hours. We'll have 9,000 balloons at my party, all pink, and pink streamers, and pink napkins, and pink ice cream, or maybe they'll be chartreuse. Everybody will get to eat seven scoops of ice cream, and there'll be hot fudge sauce, and strawberry syrup, and whipped ice cream, and rainbow sprinkles, and cherries for the top. Before we cut the cake, Everyone will sing happy birthday to me. It'll be so loud, my grandmas will have to cover their ears. My birthday is in three months, one week, three days, and seven hours from now. I will have the tallest cake in the world. 17 layers. Each layer will be a different flavor. The cake will be so tall, I'll have to stand on a ladder to get to it. There will also be 17 colors of frosting, plus extra you can eat right out of the bowl. There will be six zillion candles on top. We'll have to warn the fire department before we light them. When I blow my candles, I will get to make six zillion wishes, one for every candle. Here she is blowing out all her candles, and the firemen are waiting just in case. There will also be a magician named Merlin. And another magician, too, just in case the first one cuts himself in half or makes himself disappear or something. And when they do that trick where they take a bunny out of their hat, I'll get to keep the bunny. Speaking of hats, everyone will get to wear a real tiara instead of a paper party hat. And the boys will get clown hats with bells on them. My mother will make them. For party favors, we'll give every guest a hamster. Only two months, one week, six days and four hours left until my birthday. After cake and ice cream, we will all jump around in a giant moon bounce, shaped like a castle, and nobody will get sick. Or maybe we'll have a real castle with towers and a drawbridge. There will also be a moat with a goldfish and a giant serpent. Here's the moat at the bottom, and you can see the grandma is swimming, and there's the serpent. Of course, we will have pony rides. No, wait, camels or elephants. And here she is riding on the elephant. And maybe we'll have a Ferris wheel. One month, two weeks, four days, and nine hours until the best birthday party ever. I believe the president of the United States will send me a birthday card that we can read out loud at my party. And so will the Queen of England. After my party, I will frame those cards and hang them on my wall. I will make a collage with all the other birthday cards I get. It'll probably be so big, I have to tape it on my ceiling because it won't fit anywhere else. Three weeks, three days, and three hours away. You know how sometimes at a parade they have those fighter jets fly over and they're so close together their wings look like they're touching? We're having that at my party. The planes will be so loud, my grandmas will have to cover their ears again. I hope the hamsters don't get scared. Now that I think about it, a parade sounds like fun. We can put all my presents on a float so everyone can get a good look at them. And I can sit on top and wave at everyone like a princess. And maybe I could throw sparkly necklaces and candy into the crowd. If we're having a parade, Maybe we should have fireworks, too. Mom says this party of mine is getting a little bit out of hand. Okay, maybe we could skip the sparkly necklaces. Tomorrow is my birthday. All this planning has me tired out. Mom kissed me and told me to get a good night's sleep because tomorrow is my big day.
Do you see she has a dog that's also curled up into bed? And dad's over here looking at the party plans. Today is my birthday. Of course, not everyone could come to my party. There are no hamsters for the favors. There is also no Ferris wheel or moon bounce. There doesn't seem to be any elephants either. The president's card didn't arrive yet. Neither did the queens. And I guess the magicians couldn't make it after all. The balloons are all pink and so are the napkins. My cake has two layers, both the same flavor, but they're chocolate with strawberry frosting, my very favorite. And mom made extra frosting so I could eat some right out of the bowl. Everybody sang happy birthday so loud, we all had to cover our ears. I made seven wishes, one for each candle, plus one for good luck. And guess what I got for a present? A bunny! I'm having the best birthday party ever, just like I planned. My birthday is 364 days, 5 hours, and 22 minutes away. Things to do. Find a fortune teller. Borrow monkeys from the zoo. Start making party dress. Nope, lots of blue ribbon.